And now, for this week's State of Trade, Instar Citizen. While trade continued to surge in the first half of the week, prices and overall movement declined sharply as the weekend approached. This is most likely caused by players shifting to using Luminalia gifts to make money. Speaking of, Luminalia is now in full swing. Daily gifts are being attributed on the RSI website. In addition, gifts can be found throughout major port cities in-game. These gifts can be sold at city admin terminals for 1,000 UEC each. Once again, that is admin terminals, not TDDs. Luminalia runs until December 22nd. 3.16 is on PTU. With a high chance of going live later on in the week, many players are currently testing changes to GravLev technology and the new Jumptown 2.0 event. No changes to trade have been discovered so far. And just to reiterate, Scrap is still unavailable for trade. Still. Even on 3.16 PTU. Things are not looking good for the fan favorite commodity. We'll keep you posted. And now for market data. In the metals market, Agrisium saw a minimal slump. Agrisium has a rarely seen base price of 22.50 and sells for 27.50. Around Arcorp, Lyria's SAL2 fell to 23.57, down from 23.86. In Crusader, Daymar deposits saw minor increases. Kudra Ore rose to 24.28, up from 24.18. Arcorp 141 saw a small increase to 24.83, up from 24.77. In Microtech, SMCA8 on Calliope fell slightly to 24.70, down from a previous 24.79. Cleo's Cantwell fell to 23.40, down from last week's 23.71. Aluminum saw no notable movement, as the commodity holds little interest for traders still. Aluminum has a base price of 1.11 and sells for 1.33 UEC. Prices held at base numbers across the board. Gold continues to see heavy traffic despite prices falling in most systems. Gold has a base price of 5.41 and sells for 6.41. In Artcorp, Humboldt mines on Lyria held at or near base pricing. Around Crusader, Kudra ore on Daymar hit 5.72, a near repeat of a previous 5.71. Shuban SCD1 repeated a price of 5.88. Around Hurston, prices saw another drop on Aberdeen. While holding near the 5.60 range in the first part of the week, both Norgard and Anderson returned to base pricing as the weekend approached. In Microtech, Calliope's Caltag repeated a price of 5.89 yet again. SMO18 on the planet itself dropped to base pricing, down from a previous 5.57. Titanium continues to see surge pricing with minor drops. Titanium has a base price of 7.10 and a sell price of 8.90. Around Artcorp, Lyria's SAL2 dipped to 7.89, down from a previous 7.97. SAL5 dropped to 7.82, down from 7.95. Humboldt Mines plummeted to 7.61, down from 7.94. Around Crusader, Selen's Tram and Myers repeated a price of 7.99. In Hurston, Ariel's Bezdeck fell to 7.77, down from 7.81. Its sister location, Lathan, rose slightly to 7.81, up from 7.76. Around Microtech, Cleo's Cantwell saw a slight dip to 7.96, down slightly from 7.99. Tungsten sees a slowdown in movement. Tungsten has a base price of 3.55 and sells for 4.06. In Artcorp, all locations return to base pricing for the majority of the week. Around Crusader, Daymar's Artcorp 141 fell slightly to 3.66, down from 3.68. Shuban SCD1 on Daymar rose to 3.80, up from 3.75. Around Hurston, 
Ariel's Bez deck and Lathan returned to base pricing. Around Microtech, Caltech on Calliope repeated a price of 3.80 once again. SMCA8 on Calliope repeated a price of 3.80 as well. Legal Vice sees Distilled Spirits with heavy movement still, despite price drops. Distilled Spirits has a base price of 4.06, with a sell price of 5.56 at major ports. In Crusader, Galette Family Farms on Selen fell to 4.51, down from 4.66. Terra Mills fell to 4.52, down from 4.63. Bountiful Harvest on Daymar fell to 4.50, down from a previous 4.59. Around Microtech, Bud's Growery on Euterpe fell to 4.54, down slightly from 4.59. Around Artcorp, it was reported that Shady Glen had a price of 4.17, making the trip to find it worthwhile. Stim saw a massive drop in pricing. Stims have a base price of 2.80 and sell for 3.86 at major ports. In Crusader, Deacons on Yela cooled off heavily, resting at base pricing multiple times throughout the week. Hicks on Selen followed suit, dropping to base pricing multiple times as well. In Microtech, McGrath on Clio and Anvik on Calliope did the same, rising to the 2.90 range before settling back down to base pricing. Gases see the usual trends. Astatine sees slightly lower pricing, I'll bet with the usual supply shortages. Astatine has a base price of 7 and a sell price of 9 at major ports. Around Arccorp, Walla's Arccorp 056 dropped to 7.50, down from a previous 7.70. Arccorp 061 had the lowest observed price of 7.10, dramatically down from 7.63. On Lyria, Loveridge fell to 7.66, down from a previous 7.87. Around Crusader, Yela's Art Corp 157 rose slightly to 7.93, a minor uptick from 7.90. Benson Mining on Yela fell slightly to 7.86, down from a previous 7.91. Around Hurston, Woodruff on Ida repeated last week's price of 7.88 yet again. Ryder rose to 7.94, up slightly from 7.93. Around Microtech, SMCA6 on Calliope fell to 7.69, down from 7.88. On the planet itself, SMO10 rose to 7.89, up from 7.76. SMO22 dipped to 7.75, down slightly from 7.85. Astatine continues to see supply shortages at all locations. Chlorine sees less movement. Chlorine has a base price of 1.3, and a sell price of 1.71. Around Crusader, Artcorp 157 on Yela fell to 1.41, down from 1.45. All other locations held or returned to base pricing. Fluorine saw a repeated reduction in movement. Fluorine has a base price of 2.35 and a sell price of 2.95. All locations held to base pricing throughout the week and the sell price at outposts such as Deacons and Hicks even returned to maximum pricing multiple times throughout the week. Hydrogen saw little movement last week. Hydrogen has a base price of 0.90 and a sell price of 1.12. All locations held to base pricing. Iodine sees no notable movement. Iodine has a base price of 0.35 and a sell price of 0.45. The commodity continues to hold little interest for traders. In the mineral market, Barrel saw a slight uptick in movement. Barrel has a base price of 4.06 and a sell price of 0.35. Around Crusader, Arcorp 141 on Daymar fell to 4.09, down from a previous 4.12. Kudra Ore followed suit at 4.09, up from base pricing. Around Microtech, Calliope's SMCA8 fell to 4.09, up from last week's 4.14. Corundum saw minor movement. Corundum has a base price of 2.30 and a sell price of 2.71. Around Arccorp, 
SAL2 on Lyria rose slightly to 2.33. Humboldt also saw a price increase to 2.33 as well. In Crusader, Tram and Myers on Selen saw the price of Corundum rise slightly to 2.36, up from 2.34. Diamond sees a major falloff. Diamond has a base price of 5.85 and a sell price of 7.35. Around Arccorp, Wallace 045 fell to 6.26, down from a previous 6.44. Arccorp 056 followed at 6.32, down from 6.46. Arcorp 048 actually saw a base pricing of 5.85, down from 6.23. On Lyria, SAL5 fell slightly to 6.26, down from 6.38. At Crusader, Tram and Myers rose to 6.51, up from 6.38. Hurston sees price reductions as well. On Magda, Han fell to 6.28, down from 6.53. Perlman fell to 6.43, down from 6.45. On the planet itself, Edmund was at 6.41, down from 6.50. Operai fell to 5.92, down from 6.32. Pinewood fell to 6.21, down from 6.42. Thetis fell to 6.24, down from its previous 6.34. Around Microtech, Deltana on the planet itself fell to 6.01, down from 6.41. SMO13 fell to 6.05, down from 6.33. Keep in mind that prices will vary wildly after purchase due to small refresh rates. Laranite sees its usual movement. Laranite has a rarely seen base price of 25 and a sell price of 31.01. Around Arcorp, Arcorp 045 on Walla fell to 27.16, down from 27.29. Arcorp 056 on Walla fell to 27.59, down from 27.89. In Crusader, Tram and Myers rose to 27.75, up from 27.67. Around Hurston, Bezdek on Ariel fell slightly to 27.82 down from 27.84. Its sister location, Lathan, rose to 27.84, up from a previous 27.67. Quartz saw little movement. Quartz has a base price of 1.25 and has a sell price of 1.55. All locations were at or returned to base pricing. Medical supply saw a decrease in movement. Medical supplies have a rarely seen base price of 15.75 and a sell price of 19.25 at major ports. Around Crusader, Deacon's Onyela fell to 17.05, down from 17.11. On Selen, Hicks fell to 17.16, down from 17.40. In Microtech, Anvik on Calliope fell to 16.64, down from 17.28. On Clio, McGrath tumbled to 16.60, down from a previous 17.40. Processed food continues to see movement, although prices have held firm. Processed food has a base price of 1.21 and a sale price of 1.56. Scrap is still unavailable for trade. Scrap has a base price of 1.35 and a sale price of 1.85. Until CIG rolls back their previous hotfix, scrap cannot be sold at any location in-game. Do not purchase scrap until further notice. Agricultural supplies saw a reduction in movement. Agricultural supplies have a base price of 1, with a sell price of 1.20. All locations held at, or return to, base pricing throughout the week. And now, for next week's forecast. With the introduction of 3.16 PTU, highly profitable Luminalia gifts, and Jumptown 2.0 on the horizon, expect profits and prices to be a little easier. Astatine, Titanium, and Laranite will still see high pricing and supply issues, but commodities such as fluorine and gold should leave traders breathing a little easier. Expect Diamond to continue to drop in price as well. However, 
players will still make more money cashing in on Luminalia gifts until the 22nd. Consider taking advantage of this event for the time being. And now for this week's trait, sorry, Luminalia tip. Are you having an issue where you've just sold all your presents, but are unable to store another gift box? Instead of selecting store, select grab or inspect, then hit I to open your inventory. Manually drag the present from your hand to your inventory. You should now be able to store presents with no problem. That's it for this week's State of Trade. Until next time, keep on trucking.